Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 with my good friend Gusta. Hello! This is the uh, second episode we are uh, recording right now, but this will be the first one that will be uploaded on my channel. Uh, the actual first episode you can find on Gusta's channel, that would be Finsane Gaming. And uh, we are playing as Sweden and Finland, me being Sweden, Gusta being Finland, and we are using a special mod called Finlandia Invicta that adds a uh, completely unique national focus tree for Finland. And uh, you'll be seeing this whole playthrough from the perspective of Gusta, because I am not actually recording at all. We are doing kind of a... Oops. Uh, what, what did you call it? Uh, uh, I, I think I called it uh, Upload Tennis. Yeah, that's, mm. that's a very good term for it. So we will be uploading <coughs> every other episode on each of our channels. So Yeah, so if you haven't seen the first episode, go to the, go to the Finsane Gaming channel. I'm sure I'll put the link to the description. Yes, and just uh, subscribe and like every video yes, that is there, yeah, please. All, all of that nonsense. Yeah. And send money. Yeah. <laughs> please send money and comment. <laughs> Yes, especially the women. Yes, and with the beer, money, preferably. Yeah, and yes, beer. Nothing too anyway. fancy. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's get into the game. Yeah, can we? We are unpause? almost through with year nineteen thirty six. And uh, what are you doing actually there? Uh, are I am just prospects most... for minerals. Yes, I'm Let's getting see. some minerals so I can uh, hopefully relieve some of my trading. Uh, some of my factories from producing trade goods, so they can yeah. be building more factories and yeah. in time yeah. some oil plants. And, and but as soon as I will move on to formalizing the Finnish army and the, the national conscription so I can get some more men on the field. Yeah, that is exactly what you should do. Well, shall we unpause the game? Yes, please. Um, and click. I have 33 days to the next uh, technology research and some some 15 days to the minerals in Betsama, so I'm just chilling back. Oh, never mind, uh, I can modify the government. Ah, lucky you. I, I was just gonna get chill back and relax, but uh, should I get Oke Henry Gertz or should I get Bruno Salmiala? Because Bruno, yeah. will, Bruno will get the fascism going, uh, but yeah. Orke okay, Henrik Gertz will uh, make the civilian factories construct a bit faster, and I have some of them going right now. I, I, I think at this point you should go with the uh, factory thing. Yeah. Because you're gonna turn fascist anyway. And yeah, and uh, yeah, it's gonna happen through the yeah. focus tree anyway. Yeah. yeah. So you don't really have to do that. Yeah. Through there, it would be probably faster though. But you yeah. probably w want to go through the focus tree anyway. Yeah. Because then. Um, I think it also you get is... bonuses to your uh, available manpower. So. Yeah. And uh, I think it also is. Uh, there, there is a risk of civil war with the uh, going through the rising the support for fascism. Yeah. Uh, through the. Then, uh, yeah. I, I had that, and uh, I, I think it gave you a choice to not go with the revolution. So you Yeah, there wait. is. Yeah, you can but wait. I, I don't know if there's one after that, that if, if the fascism hasn't gained enough support, then there's like final stand kind of a thing. Yeah. I guess we'll see. I guess, I guess we'll see me in a horrible, horrible war. Yeah, but then I can send volunteers and everything will be well. Actually, yeah. I probably can't if I'm still democratic. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, the point. Because I, I have this no neutral foreign policy um, national spirit, so I can't. Like, basically, this says that I can't do shit. Yeah. That's that's the basic twist that it's saying. Yeah. So. Democracy, neutrality, it all sucks. Yeah. Get with the time, that. Sweden. Yep. Or and Finland. <laughs> Except I don't have the neutral politics kind of thing going. Still being democratic. Okay, that's my back 36. Um, should I... 
Let's do the artillery upgrade. And going. Mm. Just gathering army experience so I can add, actually add some artillery and... Uh, yeah. And the... It's, it's, I think it's kind of funny that Sweden starts its infantry template with... Uh, artillery in support. Yeah. <laughs> as well as recon. But I, I think you have... I have a uh, recon there already. I, I, I at least have the combat engineers. Uh, yeah. Engineer go No, I don't have the recon actually. Oh, that's that's well, marvelous. Um, <laughs> I wanna put it on though. Oh, I have it. Uh, I do have it researched, but it's not on my template. Yeah. So I sort of wanna. Uh, I'm not sure because I have had you no know, very minimalistic experience with this game. Well, I have probably have a couple of tens of hours there, but uh, I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes because I have recently put all the um, logistics and the uh, field hospitals and the signal companies to the support and then le left the artillery and anti-tank uh, anti guns to the uh, actual battalions. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I can't say... I... By no means, I'm no expert in yeah. the matter, so I too have no idea. Yeah, I, I think at least uh, now that I'm playing with Finland, um, at least in the beginning, I think I'm gonna leave the artillery and anti tank to the support battalions because uh, I think they eat more resources or the yes, they do they, when they're they, in battalions. They, frontline battalions are the ones that I think they suffer. Yeah. The actual band and the support are, are something that suffer yeah. that much. They su at least they suffer less. Yeah. That's how it so I don't do this. Just... Yeah. If you if you actually want to see someone good play this game, you might want to switch <laughs> yeah. here right now at this point. Go go yeah. find a second one. Uh, yeah. It might actually be that come uh, 36, 9, uh, 40 we are gonna get absolutely wrecked by the Soviet Union, but uh, well, yeah. we'll see. Unless we are driven into some sort of a petty little fight and we end up destroying each other. <laughs> and Germany and Soviet Union are gonna be... Poland belongs to Sweden! Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stockholm belongs to Finland. No. <laughs> it does not. Yeah. That's silly. Mm. No. After all, Finland and Sweden used to be one nation that was falsely named Sweden. <laughs> it should have More aptly should have been named Sweden. <laughs> Sweden. <laughs> Finland. Yes. Ah, uh, double. Oh, uh, what is it called? Technology. Ooh la la. Uh, I can research Battleship 3 in 80 days. It's 1940s technology. Oof. <laughs> 80 <laughs> days. Weird. That's. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. We get a tactical initiative on the Baltic Sea. What should I reach out next? I'm gonna have that one So. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got the minerals in. Bit so I wonder if I can minimize my trade. Uh, it's tungsten and chromium, and none of which I am actually importing anyway. So, well, yeah. they will be in the, in the surplus. Oh, concentrated industry one. Um, can I... Yeah, I haven't even done basic machine tools yet. So. Uh, <laughs> I... But I I went for um, construction first because I I. I think that I I need the um, construction speed. Yeah. I would so wish that someone would start making some wars or some shit like that, because I want to ha get rid of the uh, toaster economics. Yeah. As it's <laughs> yeah. Civilian economy. Yeah, but you can because bullshit. Yeah. I. But then again, if I'm gonna turn hmm. fascist rather quickly. Hopefully. Mm. Oh, actually, my fast uh, uh, daily change thing has gone down for some reason. Mm. Really it should be uh, plus point ten, but it's plus um, point zero five now. 
so. Can't you like when you look at your uh, diplomacy chart, you can see the see the thing that isn't there usually like a, the modifiers under the popularity? I don't have any actually, so I can put it now. Yeah, there is, but the, yeah, for some reason it's less than it should be oh. because the guy I hired gives plus. Uh, zero point one hmm. uh, gain, but I'm only getting plus zero point zero five. Uh, what? Yeah, I got that. Yeah, we're both. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it always happens. It seems the national focus is already same. Well, then. it's uh, it's always seventy hmm. days, no matter what. So. I got the anti comintern pact. Okay. Should I join or should I refuse? Mm. Well, you're gonna turn fascist anyway, so, but... Yeah. Could, my, my thinking here is that we don't go to the German bandwagon, that yeah. we're gonna... But we don't have to, even if we accept the yeah, anti we, Well, obviously, because we're yeah. gonna have their own faction, yeah. but, yeah. like, we're not gonna go chummy with the Germans. Yeah. Chummy with the Jerry. Yeah. Well then. We're gonna go and give him a good old mm -hmm. thrashing. Yeah. So I think, uh, you know, if we can get the... We'll get better opinion from the Germans. Yeah. Or we can yeah. get. Uh... Well, we are gonna end up at war with Soviet Union. Yeah, no matter yeah, what. that's true. Yeah, I'm gonna join this. Uh, and yeah, the national focus thing. Uh, Hornbeck's committee. Thank you. Um, all my very good stuff. Not well. I actually need to go to the. Um, I have to take the political effort to get the political power. Now the plus 120 political power, so I can to get the um, conscription law raised more quickly. Yeah. Because uh, okay. I, I need the manpower so I can push out these uh, boats. Yeah. I have here. Can I unpause? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um. I think I can actually. Uh... Add the anti tank to my infantry divisions. And let them be support battalions for now. Anti tank and support artillery. Um, save. We can keep on training because I'm going to need more of the experience. Uh, and then production at AT. And at Party. It's really shame that I, I actually have to like spend points to get the limited conscription. Mm. Yeah. Cause um, if I'd be fascist I could go to extensive conscription right away. Yeah. I'm thinking of waiting uh on, on uh the I'm waiting for getting the fascist event going on, so I can go to war economy without spending 150 points to partial mobilization. Yeah. In the meanwhile, because that's basically 150 political power points wasted. Yeah. But then again, it, you get them quite fast, so. Yeah. It's not as big deal as I make it sound. Another technology excavation one was finished. My excavation one is finished in eight days. Now I'm gonna do the synthetic oil experiments, so I can make make those uh, synthetic oil plants. Because hmm. I now have a minus fifty uh, research time. No oh. modifier applying to it. Yes. Uh, I have fucked up my research plan or well, the system I have. That was the two for. <laughs> Uh, two for industrialization and uh, electronics, and one for military. And I did it all by accident. And I can modify my government. Um, I think I'm actually put the put the industrial concern Vertsila here. Get the research time a bit lower. And unpause. And my research is finished. Pausing again. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pause and pause, pause. And now... Oh, it's 37, I gotta put the construction too as well. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do that. And pause. One big committee is... Yeah, the um, industry... 
technologies are unlocked quite rather quickly yeah, or yeah. they are almost yearly based so you can basically research them all the time. Mm. There's so many of them. So. Hmm. I'm planning here if I should, after I have uh, embraced the national conscription, I was wondering if yep. I should go towards the Mannerheim line and the Salpa line so we can survive winter war. Or Yeah. Yeah, and after that. Maybe. After... But we also need to have the faction. That's true. Otherwise, you can only send like one division. In the Soviet attack, and well, that's that's not gonna go very well. Especially because this is probably gonna be like seventy divisions in Leningrad only. <laughs> As per usual. In fact, there's now uh, oh, there's only five divisions in Leningrad right now. Yeah. I love playing a Sweden because you just simply don't have uh, any problems with steel because you have shit ton of steel. Oh so yeah, you, have you don't produce. ever have to worry about yeah, you produce, so. not having steel, but the other other resources are. Yeah, but you also get seventy tons tungsten and quite a much of chromium compared to mine. <laughs> yeah, well, Finland is a, doesn't really yeah. get it. So the Italians won at the. <laughs> at the Shockingly, yeah, the Italians have in won. Ethiopia. My God. Um, I'm going for construction too as well here. I think I could. Yes, I'm actually gonna pause for a okay. second because I can make my battleship, Ooh. but I'm gonna. Guys, keep on jumping. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Nice ass. <laughs> I can't exercise my uh, divisions because I have zero manpower, so it won't do me anything. Mm. Let's see here. Um, How much does it cost to get a infantry battalion? It's five. And I want to have, oh, I want to have four of them, so I need twenty experience. Why is it that you can make one upgrade? Because I have fifty navy experience, and I was like, yes, mm. it, one upgrade costs twenty-five, so two upgrades must be fifty. Yeah. But it's fifty-five. What the hell? <laughs> Why? Why is it suddenly thirty? Ah, uh, well, damn, well, can't help. Mm, have to help that. I'm gonna do this and then do this. Can I actually. Can I sign over? Yes, I can. That would be ready in. Then. Okay. Um, I need to make a deal. We go and I am post. Good, good. Good. Then I merge these. Now, now let's hold you. Merge you guys and. No, but... Ah, I can modify the government. Which means I'm gonna go limit description. Oh yeah, do I get uh, less experience because I have so little manpower or give us saying something about that? Uh, well, effectively, effectively it just means that um, they don't, they're not really gaining experience, you're just losing men. Because they can't reinforce. Oh. So, if you have zero manpower, it's just... Well, they are still training though. Yeah. I mean, uh... You get the army experience. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what, yeah. That, but the divisions themselves, I don't think get experience. Oh yeah, well, I, I was sort of aiming for the army experience anyway, yeah. so they can, they can keep on jumping. Uh, I got a national uh, 
which yeah, means focus uh, so I can go with the formal is the Finnish army. Oh, I'm so stupidy, stupidy. Stupidy, stupidy old me. I have the artillery upgrades coming, but the uh, formalizing Finnish army gives you bonuses on that. But then again, I can use them later. It's, it's only the one time. And I get 10 army experience, so that's good. Um, a lot of insufficient resources. Uh, steel. Maybe I can trade with Sweden! Ah! Um, why, why can't I though? I need the steel, why can't I do it? In, well, I don't know, it might be that all of my steel has been already traded for, because I, I, obviously I don't have any control in the way this game works. We can only trade for up to zero units. We have no more civilian industry to offer, we need... Oh, okay, that's... Oh, you don't have any factories. That's... That could be a problem. Yeah, it seems to be a little bit of a problem. Um, where is all my things going then? Uh, steel and there's oil. That's eating all my... Dang it. What do you need oil for? Yeah, I have uh, convoys coming. I think I'm gonna stop doing that. I have six of them in reserve, so maybe I can now instead uh, stop trading oil and and then get some more more steel. Are you sure you want to have all your factories producing? Ah, it's hard being a Finn. <laughs> what can I do? I can't really do much. When is my next factory ready? 26th of November 1938. So it's almost two years away. I think I just have to bear with it for now. Yeah. Have you already gone through all the uh, factory giving? National I population. think so. I think there's only two civilian factory. There's a couple of more with the uh, that give military factories, but yeah, I'm gonna yeah. unpause. Go not. I think at least that. Oh yeah, I guess I got to go with the strict uh, economy laws in the next. Ah, oh, that's point. In the next uh, because I still have the uh, toaster upgrade. Uh, the toaster, Me too, but there's... Ah, oh, but I can't, we need more than 5%. Yeah, there's yeah. No... yeah, and you, anyway, you wanna take it when it's partial mobilization. Yeah. So. There we go, I got my artillery upgrade. And now I'm gonna go with the synthetic oil experiments. And I'm pausing again. And now we play the waiting game. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, 55 days until the next national uh, focus, and 89 days to the next research, so. Just gonna chill for a while. Now I have two factories on my... Fancy that. Now it will be on... Yeah, it, whoa, it's almost uh, 10 months faster. It's in January 38th now. Ah. Oh. Instead of November. Oh, well, it doubles it's... the production, basically. Yeah, well, yeah. You should say. Double the one! That's two! That's a lot. It feels so... funny because I've been mostly playing with my... Uh, United States campaign. Actually, not United States. It's the Free Empire of America. Yeah campaign now and it's just so weird because I have like uh, more than a hundred civilian factories just constructing buildings <laughs> so yeah yeah it, seems it feels like a bit yeah, yeah. It, it feels a bit sad right now yeah <laughs> just to see the poor Finland one yeah poor little Finland why can't we have uh, 100 civilian factories yeah. constructing everything that we need and love yeah. <laughs> 
Possibly because after having 100 civilian factories, there would be no more room for the Finnish people. <laughs> we have to gain some living space from the east. Well, I said that what we're aiming for. Yeah. yeah, well, eventually, yes. But we can't really do that with my uh, 19 half dead divisions. <laughs> yeah, true. Very true. Uh, why are we on post? Uh, I something? just got on technology, so I'm ah, okay. going for concentrated industry here. Going for concentration. Yeah, actually, all of my research is, is now focused on, on industry, so. <laughs> yeah. I finally got my research back on track, so I have to move forward. I'm very, I'm very, I'm, I'm very keen about this. I have to have my system. Yeah. Otherwise, everything will go well, to I, shit. I, I'm really ignoring, half half ignoring the uh, infantry side here because yeah. uh, you're gonna be the infantry guy. I'm gonna just produce meat to the grinder, but right. I'm I'm gonna be then the boy in the air. The man in this right. guy. What I, I need you? The, I need the water. Yes, I need the water as well. But then again, I don't think there is actually like a big threat from the from the sea anywhere. Right. But uh, it's good to have. It's good to have some navy, and mm. and I think it provides some a new interesting sort of uh, angle to this. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I usually don't pay much attention yeah, to that's, the Navy, that's Navy or the Air Force. To me, because usually I play nations that... Well, either they are already powerful in, in Navy, like mm. the United Kingdom or, or the USA. But, like, I, I never played Japan, for example. I have never played Japan. I don't know. Just yeah. The land war in China. Never, never start the land war in China. Ooh. Hmm. I think we both got the national focus yes. again. Yes, uh, I got a uh, civilian factory. So weak when you can, you spend 70 days, well okay, it's faster than actually building them, but kind of weak, mm -hmm. yet you only get one. I, I would prefer mm -hmm. it if it were two, because the uh, factories are really the lifeline, and it doesn't break the game. Sweden gets yeah. two, or Finland gets two, as, as in it were it would be in, in the if we were playing vanilla and not have any yeah. mods so it, it wouldn't break the game but it would give you some chance at least yeah um i'm sort of thinking if i should go straight towards national conscription or if i should get the employee finnish nobelists uh the one gave you the extra research slots i think yeah uh, and uh well, the national constitution is still two, two focuses away because I, first I need to get the empower the white guard. Yeah, which would um, give you just an army experience and some the army experience. Yeah. Mm, well, uh, actually, because I sort of don't want to feel like an idiot when I'm like one uh, focus away from having fortifications on the border when the Russians finally attack, just because I wanted my Finnish Nobelists. Yeah. Um, but fuck it. I'm gonna go with the Nobelists. I think that would be my choice as well, because you, you uh, the earlier you get the extra, extra research yeah. slot, it's always better. And this is yeah. kind of the earliest you, you were gonna get it anyway. Yeah. Um, and push? Yeah. Oh no! Oh, the humanity! The horrible Hindenburg disaster has struck once again. Mm, yeah. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, it, yeah. It's fun change. I think that really. I don't know why, but I think it's really nice detail that it sometimes doesn't happen. And same with the um, uh, a aviator who yeah, goes around the, uh, the world. Well, world. What, what's her name? Erhard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes she does make it indeed. I think she didn't yeah. make it for for real. I think that yeah. is the historical outcome that she didn't yeah. make. Yeah. Political power. Or the mo government modifications. Mm, there's still zero percent growth tension, so. 
maybe with the is there anything that gives me faster? Oh, it seems that the nationalist no. Spain is has driven the Republicans to Barcelona, along or Catalonia, I should say. But, oh. yeah, they're not doing so good. The Republicans, I mean. Should I go for? That could be a fun game as well to we'll play as the uh, Spain Spaniards. Hmm. Well, should be um, Gambit. What should I pick? I would get the Fasm on the rise, but I could also get like uh, military theorist. Yeah, I was thinking choices. Here that choices. Mm. Should you go for the uh, the fascist uh, guy as yeah. well? Because it's gonna be a long way until you're actually gonna go the parliamentary reform path because you need yeah. to go to the uh so that would just make it that you don't have to do it yeah as quickly as as you yeah. would yeah. otherwise so th that. then we can th make the thing faction at mm. least or do something yeah. or at least i well i will be most likely a fascist nation by the time so yeah uh that would, yeah, that would most likely mean that I can send volunteers, but... Yeah. And what... in what point can you make factions, isn't there, like... Uh, you, it says that you need some... Uh, when, when you, I need the, I, um, you, yeah, you need the... You need factions uh, without having the national spirit to do so. Yeah, we need and you get it from ideological fanaticism. Uh, and it's quite... Uh, it's quite down there. First you need to get fascist. Then it's the nationalism focus, militarism, military youth, paramilitarism, and then... Oh, it's uh, there, down there. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, that's, a, that's a long far way. away. Uh, what oh. about me? When, when can I... If, if I go the right... right-hand way... Um, on the black shirts, persecute your position... Um, Games, enraged phenomena. I wonder if I can, like at all. Yeah, on the. Uh... Yeah, if I. Uh, yeah. Let's see, March on Helsinki now. I think it's. Yeah, it has to be you. Let's see. Yeah, even established Greater Finland doesn't let me, yeah. Uh... Let me do the thing. Because, uh... What about the Kalmar Union though? Oh, the Kalmar Union! Yeah, I was looking know. at that, but that would be one yeah. also. So I got some research. Mm. 37. March no point doing tanks, at least not yet. Yeah, could, it's a could. long way until we go to the tanks. Mm. <laughs> it's I good if we mean... have any tanks at 43. Yeah. <laughs> if we even are alive at 43, that's yeah. debatable. I think I'm gonna go with the superior firepower doctrine. Uh, because if I go with the grand battle plan, it gives me the entrenchment bonus and such, but. Uh, I think I think there's less like attacking bonuses and after after the beginning we are gonna need yeah it more of anyway uh, we have been playing for quite some time should have be we? yeah ah. well, should we wrap up the uh, maybe we should maybe we should we actually only got uh, we we got less further I think than the last time but anyway yeah it's been a lot of pausing is always too yeah Two episodes and not a single war. Yeah, Excellent. but we're getting there. Um, yeah. This has been Hearts of Iron 4 with the Finers and Gustav from Finsane Gaming. Yay. He's playing as Finland and you're seeing his perspective you already forgot. Because Oof. you can't see my perspective, can you? Yeah. We can see your fancy nation though. Yeah, yeah. Does it, it look glorious? Shaped like a penis and I'm the ball sack. Yeah, indeed. That's just like the way I like it. What? So. what? <laughs> anyway. On that happy note. Yes, on that bombshell, as, as they say in Top Gear. We'll end this episode and... Uh,
please check out the first one if you haven't already in FinZen Gaming channel and uh, we'll be back with another uh, episode on that channel as well. So until then, bye-bye.